angry old guy. Author and columnist Mark Stein joins us tonight to marvel at how much rich people hate Trump. It's almost like the same people are always going on about privilege. The more privileged you are, the matter you are about Trump. Why is that? Yeah, yeah, that's the way to look at it. Robert De Niro lives better than 99.99% of people in the entirety of human history have ever lived. And he cannot accept that a, a close election in a 50-50 country didn't go his way. This is deeply bizarre. You mentioned that you'd... I'd never heard of these American Icon Awards, and I think it's a faintly uh, <laughs> stupid title for award. In uh, Australia, they have an award called National Treasure, which, again, doesn't seem like the kind of thing you get nominated for. I mean, these kind of names are in the gift of the people and the general mood. But if you do actually have something called an American Icon Award, then the guy has to be an icon for all Americans, including the 60-whatever million people who voted for Trump. Uh, it, it's not just the Hollywood partisan icon awards. And if I were Al Pacino or anybody else uh, at risk of getting a, a, an award speech uh, prize presented to me by Robert De Niro, I'd start carrying the equivalent of an organ donor card saying, in the event that I get nominated for a prestigious award, I don't want Robert De Niro coming and giving the speech uh, because he talks about Trump for seven minutes and then says, oh, and by the way, here's a statue for Al Pacino. This is, <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is uh, this is beyond derangement. He has actually become more insane than Travis Bickle in Taxi Driver. Well, what's interesting, though, usually, you know, the revolutionary spirit is aimed upward, you know, give the finger mm. to the man. In the last right. two years, you've watched this parade of, again, the most privileged people in our society shouting down at Trump's voters. Yeah. Damn you, working class Americans. You must you know, be quiet. How dare you speak? Has there ever been a re revolution aimed in this direction, down. Well, no, I think that's what... In it's interesting. It's a, a worldwide phenomenon in some ways. The elites rising up against the masses. Uh, <laughs> I, you know, to a... To a, to a <laughs> Nicely put. To a... To a, to a, no, I, but I think that's actually true. I think uh, I saw something of it uh, with Mrs. Thatcher in, in the United Kingdom, where essentially privileged, elite, artistic people just regarded her as vulgar and lower class in the same way uh, that they do with Trump. But the fact is they're killing themselves. There's a book out at the moment, uh, White, by Brett Easton Ellis, as yes. you know, the novelist of American Psycho. He voted for Hillary. He's gay. He's nobody's idea of a conservative or right wing, but he was dating this young millennial guy, and the young millennial guy went full Trump derangement syndrome and, uh, and became impossible to live with. And that's the same situation. Would you want to wake up in bed with Robert De Niro Ed, every morning, <laughs> no. boring on... Boring on about boring on about Trump. He's actually they shouldn't have American Icon Awards. They should have best cranky, embittered grandpa, forty years past his acting best award. Because that would he'd be a shoe in for that. He'd definitely be in the running. Though I, I would argue there are some other contenders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, the, it's a crowded field. And it's not even an age thing, as we saw with Brett Easton Ellis's uh, uh, insufferable millennial boyfriend. It goes right, it spans the ages uh, among the Hollywood elites. The great Mark Stein. Thank you, Mark. Great to see you. Thanks a lot, Tucker.